What is going on, you guys? Lou back at it again with another video. So today's video is to talk about Kawhi Leonard, all right? Um, I'm going to dedicate another video to coaches, um, a lot of different things. But for now, we're just going to do one topic for this one video. And I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think, all right? Now, like I said, I am going to come back and update you guys with everything else that's going on. And we're going to talk about the playoffs as well a little bit in this video. So the Kawhi Leonard situation is getting really, really dicey. And before, when I was talking about it, I was definitely saying that Kawhi may not leave. You know what I'm saying? That he's going to stay, that there's, you know, the problem can definitely be fixed. It's the Spurs, this and that. But it's looking worse than I actually predicted, all right? It's looking worse than I ever thought. And now there's a lot of problems. Kawhi Leonard does not want to play with this team no more, it seems like. He's over here rehabbing right now, and he's not even, you know, at the team's games. He's not even there watching them while they play Golden State. It's kind of bad because at the end of the day, you know, with Kawhi, you can even debate that maybe the Spurs wouldn't even have a chance, but that's their best player. And he's not even playing with them. And a lot of other guys believe that this guy is healthy. Guys that are Hall of Fame type of players that have played for a long time in the NBA that have some type of knowledge in this. So if they think that he should be able to play, I'm not trying to go against Kawhi in this situation because he hasn't even spoke about this stuff at all. So there's no intel on what he thinks and what he's thinking currently. So I don't want to go too hard on him, but at the same time, it's making it look like he just doesn't want to play for a certain reason, not even health concern wise. Now, do I believe there is some part of injury on him? Yes, I think there is a small part of him that could be potentially injured. But I think that he is avoiding playing currently. I really do. I think right now he just doesn't want to play. And I think this could make the team possibly think about trading him. All right, because now you got Pop throwing shots at him. And I don't know if Pop is throwing shots just so he can hear him. You know what I'm saying? Because Kawhi supposedly does not want to speak to anyone. He hasn't spoken to anyone at all. You know what I'm saying? For a long time. Uh, he sent texts occasionally to a Spurs player. I do not know who that Spurs player is, but I saw this news yesterday. And I think it's getting just kind of wild, all right? Someone needs to say something on Kawhi's camp, I think. They don't have a reason to have to say anything. But I think, you know, for all this news that's coming out, it is making a negative effect on Kawhi's name. So I think to a certain degree, they need to speak on this. But do I think that there could be a trade that's going to happen at the end of the season? Yeah, I think there could possibly be a trade. If the relationship is not fixed at all, then yeah, I think the Spurs are going to be forced to make a move. But the Spurs are way smarter than that. They realize they're not going to get back what they give, and they're going to try to keep him because Kawhi Leonard is a top four player in the league right now if he was actually playing. So with that being said, do you want to trade Kawhi? Never. But, you know, if worse comes to worse, you got to make the move. All right, so let's talk about the playoffs, all right? Now, there's a lot of games here to speak of real quick, but I'm going to try to do it really briefly and um, get this video uploaded for you guys. So Rockets in Minnesota, all right? That was a kind of nasty-looking game, all right? It wasn't pretty. Everyone just did not play that great, but it was actually a really close game for Minnesota. So I think Minnesota, what they need to do differently is overuse their players, not to the completely where they're tired or anything, but overuse them. If you see that it's working, if you could throw it to Cat every time and he can get you easy buckets, you got to run that. All right. They're trying to run a different game against Houston Rockets that they don't have to really do. Use what's been working for you guys and use your best players. It's really easy. OKC and Jazz, honestly, playoff OKC came out that first game. All right. Russ had a great game. And Paul George played well, all right? He played really good. As long as playoff peak could play like that, I mean, they're not going to look bad, all right? And against, you know, potentially the Rockets, if they do play them, you know, they can cook something up. I still can't lie about that. The only problem is the Rockets threes. We'll see what happens with them. Now, Portland and the Pelicans, all right? Now, this game happened yesterday. I was actually able to watch this one. Um, the Pelicans, man, they played nice. And I think they're going to potentially win this series. They're going to get an upset on the Portland Trailblazers. Now, from what I've been seeing, uh, Trailblazers, they're definitely underrating Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is one of the X factors for this team. A lot of people are overlooking him. And honestly, he could do some things. A couple years ago, he was actually really good. Um, things just started to happen for him. But uh, he's been actually playing well this whole season. And um, he dropped 30 last night, and it, they couldn't hold him. So as long as they can kind of keep to that where their main guys um, on their starting lineup are balling, especially like Rondo as well, they can make some stuff happen. Golden State and Spurs, I'm not even going to speak on that too much, all right? Golden State is going to do what they got to do. They might sweep them. They might do the gentleman sweep. Who knows? We'll see what happens. 
All right, Toronto and Washington. Now, this is one of those series that I was telling you guys that an upset might happen, but it's not looking great, all right? The Washington Wizards are not looking motivated to play. And, you know, John Wall was playing well, but there's just so much disagreement on this team. You can see the chemistry is going downhill, all right? It's not connecting. Best players on this team are just, again, they're not connecting. The chemistry matters in the NBA so much. And honestly, these guys just seem so disconnected, so ready to give up. And it doesn't look like they're ready to play. The Raptors are here to play. Uh, DeRozan dropped, what, 37 yesterday? It was too easy for them. Cleveland and Pacers, all right? Now, Pacers got one, all right? And I think they definitely underrated, you know, the team in general, all right? So now Cleveland's going to have to come into this game, and they're going to have to make something happen right now this game. And um, I, I definitely think LeBron is going to turn up. I ain't going to lie to you. Now, Philly and Miami. Now, this is a really good series. Can't lie. This series is cooking up already. Um, I saw 76ers and Miami play the second game. The first game, they look good. Philly looked good. All right. Philly looked really good the first game. But into the second game, you can see that Philly is starting to get a little bit cocky. They're tossing up shots in people's faces that they shouldn't be trying to throw up. They're trying to look like the Houston Rockets, basically. All right. It's going to work if they're able to actually hit these threes. But the problem is they're shooting some shots that they should not have to shoot. All right. And they're also shooting with a lot of time still left on the clock. So sometimes they can make these possessions last longer and potentially be able to get a smarter shot, maybe a better shot. And they don't need to shoot threes the whole game. You know, Miami is not a big three-point shooting team. So you can get away with being able to just play twos with them. And then also, if you got the three, shoot the three. But do not force it up. And something that's looking really well on their team that they did is in the free agency. They picked up Marco and they picked up Ursan and Lisova. And those two guys are actually working out for them because they're guys that have experience. Okay, they've been in the playoffs before and they can shoot. They can spread the floor for you. Ursan, his first game, had a double-double and then whatchamacallit marco had a couple threes on him so i think with that being said everything could work out that way can they make it to the conference finals i doubt it i really really do i don't i don't know if they have the experience to get to that level so we'll have to see what happens austin and milwaukee now i got a couple comments on my playoff predictions and one of the predictions was the fact that i think that boston can make it to the conference finals that was my belief and i said that for two reasons first we are very well coached all right and we're also pretty deep all right and that's actually what's coming up for us right now we have a lot of guys that are stepping up to the plate right now and they're coming in and they're balling all right they're making things happen and i'm really excited right now for boston because this is so far this is a series that people thought was going to go to seven and it's right now 2-0 so we'll see what happens i don't want to kind of jinx anything so i'm gonna knock on wood but I really believe in Boston right here, and I think that this is going to be good. And I think this is going to be a really good series for us. Now, if Giannis decides to go complete God mode and just take over the game where no one could hold him, Aaron Baines did a decent job last night at holding him in some possessions where he tried to go in there and body him, and he was actually holding him. So shout out to Aaron Baines, and um, shout out to Jalen Brown. He dropped 30 points, all right? He's one of the youngest players in Boston history to do that. That's, yeah, man, Boston is amazing. So, I mean, everything more or less is going as planned. There's only, what, one series on each side that so far I have gotten wrong. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. No, no, two. All right, Pacers and Washington and then the Spurs. Or not the Spurs, um, but New Orleans. So, you know, uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'm correct. But tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. I'm out.